Hello artists! Today we will draw a portrait inspired by the ancient Greek Olympics. You will need paper, a pencil, an eraser, a black marker, and crayons. I begin by having my paper vertically or in portrait mode. Then I find the center of the paper and use my finger to make a large U, which I then go over with pencil. I draw two footballs or almond shapes for the eyes. I place a circle inside and then a small circle inside the bigger one for the pupils. I use my index finger and thumb to measure the distance from the eyes to the bottom of the U. I measure the same distance from above the eyes and place a little mark there and then draw the top of the head. I make a mark halfway between the eyes and the bottom of the U or the chin for the nose. Then halfway between the nose and the chin, I make a line for the mouth. I draw an upside down seven for the nose. The corners of the mouth should line up with the center of each eye. So I use my finger to trace a line and then mark the corner with my pencil. I draw the upper lip and then the lower lip. I also add the eyebrows. I draw my ears so that they are the same distance as from the outside edge of the eye to the bottom of the nose. I finger trace from the outside corner of the eye to the bottom of the face to mark where the neck starts. I draw a vertical line that curves out at the bottom to form the neck. I draw the bottom of the neck and the shoulders. I draw a curved horizontal line on the forehead as a guide for the olive leaf wreath. Then I start at one side of the head and draw olive leaves first on one side of the line and then on the other. Then I add the hair. I choose a short hairstyle, but you can do any type of hairstyle you like. Next, I draw the garment that the Olympian is wearing. I have a shirt underneath the tunic, so I begin by drawing the neck band. Then I draw a circle on the shoulder to form the clasp. And then finally, I draw some curved lines to indicate the folds of the fabric that makes up the tunic. I go over all of the pencil lines that I want to keep with a black marker. Then I erase the remaining pencil lines. Now it is time to add color to my drawing. I begin by coloring the skin on the face and neck. I want a nice even application of color, so I use my crayon to apply a light layer vertically. Just so you know, I don't actually color this fast in real life. While I was editing the video, I increased the speed to make the end product a little bit shorter. You should take your time and color neatly. When I have all of that colored in, I do a second layer going in the opposite direction or horizontally.
Finally, I do a third layer and I go back to doing my lines vertically. I also use multiple layers of color for the eyes. In this case, I'm using yellow, blue, and brown. I add a rosy color for the lips. The hair consists of several light layers of color. To show the strands of hair, I press more firmly on my crayon and draw lines in the direction that the hair grows. I want the leaves of the wreath to have some dimension to them. So first I color them a pale yellow green, then I go over that, make some lines with dark green, and finally I go over each leaf with yellow. Add color to the tunic clasp, to the neckband and shirt. I leave the tunic itself white. I add color to the background by lightly drawing vertical lines in shades of blue and turquoise. I hope you enjoyed this art project. I can't wait to see your drawing. Please take a photo of it and upload it to Google Classroom.